In part three of this series, we'll continue answering where we left off. And just like in question one where we took mass percent and used it to find the empirical formula, we'll be doing the exact same thing in question two. The question reads, ibuprofen, an aspirin substitute, has the following mass percent composition. 75.69% of carbon, 8.80 of hydrogen, and 15.51% of oxygen. What is the empirical formula of ibuprofen? Now instead of using percentages as given in the question, what I can do is assume that there is 100 grams of ibuprofen. And if there are 100 grams of ibuprofen, that means there are 75.69 grams of carbon, this much of hydrogen, and this much of oxygen. And if I use this assumption, what I can do next is multiply this number by the molar mass. Look at the molar masses for carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen. They're all configured in such a way where the grams are at the top and the moles are at the bottom. What I have to do is multiply these numbers by the flipped version of each of these molar masses. For example, I'll multiply 75.69 by 1 mole over 12.01 grams. Notice that this is the flipped version of what has been given. Similarly, I'll multiply this by 1.008, where it's flipped. So I'll show that. And I'll show it over here because I'm running out of room. I have 1 mole over 1.008 grams. And just to give you an idea of what I mean, this grams unit will cancel out with this one. And this gram unit will cancel out with this one. And lastly, I'll multiply 15.51 grams by 1 mole over 16.00 grams. This will cancel out with this. Let's start by dividing 75.69 with 12.01. We should have a number with four significant figures. So 75.69 divided by 12.01, and we end up with 6.302. And this has the units of moles. Notice that that's what's remaining. Next, we move on to hydrogen. 8.80, three significant figures, divided by 1.008. We end up with 8.73. 8.73 moles of hydrogen. And finally, on to oxygen. We should have four significant figures. 15.51 divided by 16. Four significant figures would mean 0.9694. 0.9694 moles. So our formula will contain the atoms C, H, and O. This will have 6.302 moles. This will have 8.73. And this one will have 0.9694. I'll divide all three of these numbers by the smallest. This will become 1. Let's see what this will become. Using our calculator, 8.73 divided by the answer that we found. And we get 9, exactly 9. This becomes a 9, and let's see what happens to the C. 6.302 divided by 0 0.9694, and that gives me 650, 6.5. If I want to get rid of this decimal 5, I'll multiply each of these numbers by 2. And if I do that, this number will become 13, this will become 18, and this will become a 2. So we have C13, H18, and O2. And there you have it. That is how to obtain an empirical formula from mass percent.